In this video, we will learn how to subtract and then you will check your answer by adding to see how you did. Just a reminder, you get a copy of this worksheet in the link below. So feel free to print and follow along. Number one, subtract, check by adding. The first one has been done for you. So are you given 961? Subtract 659. So when you subtract, if you don't have enough, remember you have to borrow. So one minus nine is not enough. We have to borrow one from the tenth place, which turns into a five, and then our one becomes an 11. 11 minus nine is two. Then we have five minus five is zero, and nine minus six is three. So we got 302. Now we have to add it backwards to see if we will still get the same answer. So we will take that 302 plus the smaller number 659 and we did get 961, which is what we started with. That means our answer is check. Let's do number two to get it. First we have is 418 minus 209. Can an 8 minus a 9? No, we have to borrow. Let's go to our tens place and borrow. So we went to the tens place and it has a 1. We're going to borrow 1 from it. It turned into a 0. But our 8 turned into 18. 18 minus 9 is how much? 18 minus 9 is 9. Let's move on to the tens. 0 minus 0. is zero. Then we have in the hundreds place, four minus two is two. So our final answer is 209. All right, time to add it backwards to see if we will get the answer. So we have 209 and 209. Let's add them together. Nine plus nine is 18. Remember to carry. So one plus zero plus zero is one. And then we have two plus two is four. So did we get 418? Just like our original answer was 418? Yes, we did. So our answer checks. All right, try number three on your own, and then we'll go over the answer to see how you did.
Okay, if you need more time, remember to pause the video. Let's go over number three. 707 minus 488. Seven is not enough. We have to borrow. But over here, we have a zero. We can borrow from a zero. So we have to borrow in the hundreds place. So when we borrow in the hundreds place, our seven becomes a six. We borrow 10 over it. So our 0 becomes a 10. Now we can borrow back to our 1's place. So we'll borrow 1 from the 10's, which turn into a 9. And our 7 turn into 17. 17 minus 8 is what? It's a 9. And in the middle, we have 9 minus 8. And lastly, we have a 6 minus 4. All right, let's check our answer. We have 488 and 219. Let's put them together. We want to see if it will come out to be our original answer, 707. 8 plus 9 is 17. Remember to carry your 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. Then don't forget to carry again. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Alright, we got 707, just like our original answer. How did you do? Okay, go ahead and finish the rest of the worksheets. Remember to work your answers from right to left. Don't forget to check your answers by adding it back. Alright, have fun!